Good morning! Today is the first weekend of October, first day of a long weekend, so it's a nice Saturday with no work to do. So I just thought I'd take you along with me for a day in my life in Seoul. I'm going to be going to the grocery store, we'll probably go to Itaewon later today. And yeah, I just wanted to show you what regular life is like. So let's go! I usually try to do Korean practice in the morning. Um, and recently I've been using these books and podcasts from Talk To Me in Korean. Here's what the book looks like. But I found them to be really helpful. They have a podcast that you listen to and then you go through and you like follow along with the lessons in the book. And then you, they also have a workbook that you can get as well that goes with each lesson book. And then they have like homework pages that you do and listen to audio files to do like comprehension. And so far it's been really helpful for me and I've liked it. I'm currently on lesson seven of I think 25 in this first book. And there's a total of 10 books to go through until you become, I guess like advanced in Korean. But yeah, it's really good for people at any level. You can take a test online to see what level you're at and then just start from there and keep learning. to the grocery store now. We're going to one that's closer. It's a bit smaller than the big one that's farther away, but it has basically everything that we need on a regular week, don't you think? And yep. also has a little Daiso inside, which is super cute too. There's a lot of like everyday items you can buy there as well. I wish I could fall in love with you another day. I'm missing the Hey. Got lots of kimchi. You should get some bean sprouts too for a barbecue. Most grocery stores too, they have like some peanut butter, Nutella, and a few like just international goods. And some grubs. Ew. <laughs> Classic. What would that even be in? You just eat a plane. Really? Yep. Wow. So maybe let's get this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, from Jeju. Jeju pigs. This one is like this, like a regular bulgogi. Mm. We should get that. Let's get that. It's a big box. There's it 18. Box. I'll go for that. I like pickle pies. <laughs> I do too. So here's the chip aisle. They have a lot of like Cheetos and things like that, but they don't taste the same as Cheetos in the United States. They're like a, it's like a spicy sweet vegetable kind. Yeah, I'm not super interested in that. And this one's <laughs> like a, a smoky barbecue. Wow. Cereals, they have some familiar like Kellogg's cereals, but it's pretty limited selection. Also, cheese and butter is really expensive. Like this block of butter is like almost eight dollars. Um, and they, I haven't really seen any like deli meats for like sandwiches, like we often have in the U.S. But yeah, there's always like mozzarella cheese. It's the most common. Yeah, alcohol is like really cheap here. This is like a bottle of like liquor, and it's like one dollar. 
So if you want like soju, it's way, way cheap. And then this grocery store is like also combined with like a Daiso. So there's a lot of like home goods things. Um, I don't know, Daiso is kind of like a dollar store, but like way better quality, I guess you'd say. But yeah, they have a lot of different products here, just like random things, like it's just like hardware stuff and like office supplies or like self-care or like kitchen things over there. So yeah, it's really convenient. Everything in one spot. Okay, that's the haul. Now it's time to head back home. That's pretty good. I think we got everything we needed, right? I'm go on the yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna make some lunch now. I think we're gonna do some rice with tuna and seaweed, which is a pretty like typical easy lunch that we make. So yeah, should be good. Headed back out for our afternoon adventures. Oh, geez, did you get it in time? You ran over here so crazy. Um, but we're going to Namsangur Hanok village and it's at the Changmur station. So, yeah, hopefully we can find it. Let's go. So apparently this place was really popular summer vacation spot in the or during the Joseon yep. Joseon dynasty. So cool. pretty this is like totally what I picture when I think of like old Korea you know what I'm saying like what, what was that one drama that we watched the beginning of that is like totally like oh, this um, is it moon that embraces the sun yeah moon that embraces okay the sun, yeah it. all of this writing and stuff it's not like like how Hangul like current Korean writing like it's yeah. with the Chinese characters right yeah but it's still Korean, like not Chinese, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I know they used the Chinese script for a long time until yeah. the alphabet was invented. My dad would be so disappointed if we didn't read this before. Oh, yeah. He loves to read the plaques. Okay, actually, I think it's the same thing that I read in the pamphlet. I think we've seen everything that we wanted to now. Yep. So we're gonna head out and go to Itaewon. All right, so we're actually home now. My camera battery ended up dying while we were out, but after we were at the Hanuk village, we ended up going to Itaewon for a little bit in the evening. As the night went on, it got darker and a lot more people started coming out just because there's a lot of bars and a lot of people come to go clubbing and drinking and that kind of thing. 
but we walked around for a little bit we did a little bit of shopping i bought this new bag that i'm super excited about i got a good deal on it which was awesome uh, and then, yeah, we got a sweet treat at this place that sells waffles and ice cream, and it was really cute. And we went to a foreign food market, which was fun. We didn't end up buying anything, but it was just fun to look around. And yeah, that's a day in my life in Seoul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time.